Welcome to Northeast Georgia Medical Center in Brazelton. You are getting to take one of the first sneak peeks looks at the new labor and delivery unit. So this is where you'll come into the ER, especially at night between the hours of 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. when the front entrance is closed. So you'll come into the ER, you'll be greeted by the ER registration staff, and then we'll take you up to labor and delivery. So this is how we go. We're gonna go up to the third floor. When you get to the third floor from the elevators, this is where you will enter into the labor and delivery unit. So um, back this way to your right, there's some vending machines and public restrooms. And then when you go to your left, you're there in labor and delivery. So you come through these big doors here. and enter into our family waiting room. It's nice and spacious, lots of light. When you come to this desk, this desk will be manned by a security guard 24 hours a day to keep our babies safe. This is where you'll check in and present your ID and your insurance card and get registered to go into the unit. And then this big door here is where you'll enter into labor and delivery. It's okay. And we're coming into labor and delivery now. And over here we have Dr. Cox, one of our physicians from NGPG. He's gonna take us on a little tour of the unit. All right, so we're gonna take a look first at one of the 10 LDRPs. And made a lot of progress in the last few weeks. Still a ways to go. A very large, spacious room. Uh, the bed will, labor bed will be right here in this area. And over here, we've got some neat features uh, for the room, adjustable shades to raise up and down with privacy windows. And there's uh, electronic interface over here so that uh, people can plug their iPhones in or their audio devices and it will play music um, through a central uh, speaker system for the whole room. So that'll be really neat. Um, and they can play the types of music and sounds they would like while they're in labor. Um, this is a couch that also functions uh, as a bed. And uh, Megan can show you how that works. But this allows for uh, the expectant mom and her significant other to uh, uh, dine together uh, before or after the baby's born. But when the significant other is ready to go to sleep or take a nap or rest, the bed will, uh, the table will then convert to a bed. So that's a very nice feature of the room. We have a flat screen TV uh, here on the wall. And that leads into the spacious bathroom which has uh, jet showers, which are uh, a great feature uh, to use in labor uh, for part of the pain management uh, in uh, early stages of labor especially. So that's uh, quite a large shower. I don't guess we have a limit as to the number of people that could be in there. <laughs> Let's say two. Two, okay, that sounds like a good number. And uh, around on this side, this is where uh, the baby uh, will be uh, transferred in this little area of the room to attend to the baby after uh, birth. So you can see that the baby and the parents are never more than a few feet away. They stay together the whole time. And next, uh, we'll ease out of the LDRP room. And this is another feature that's designed to be uh, friendly uh, to, the, to the patients, uh, a serving system that allows uh, placement of all medical supplies from the hallway, uh, but then they're accessed on the other side of this wall in each LDRP. So there won't be as much traffic of people coming in and out of the rooms to deliver medical supplies and towels and linens, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And if we continue on down the hallway, We will uh, look at one of the uh, 
two operating rooms or operating suites that would be used for scheduled C-sections if it was a planned C-section delivery. So this is the, one of the two C-section uh, ORs or suites. This would also be used for emergent C-section deliveries uh, as well as uh, post-delivery services, tubal ligations, uh, and uh, if we had complications from births with bleeding or uh, things that could not be managed appropriately in the LDRP. So we have two of these uh, ORs that are capable of handling any obstetric problem that we might run into. This is the second OR, mirrors the first one. And from the ORs, uh, we access the NICU. And again, you see it's just a very short walk from the operating room. So if the baby needs uh, NICU attention, it's very easy to uh, arrive in that area. So this would be the main nursing station. Uh, these are the individual uh, rooms uh, for the babies. And there are, in the main part of the unit, rooms uh, for additional babies that need uh, NICU care and attention. I was here about a month ago, and I have to say it's amazing the progress that's been made in those few weeks since I was here. Again, just more rooms uh, uh, here in the NICU. As you can see, we have plenty of space to accommodate lots of babies. We hopefully won't need to use these spaces that often, but they're here when we need them. And the, uh, this NICU connects back out to the main uh, labor and delivery unit entry area. So if a baby has to stay after a mom has been discharged and they're coming back to, to visit the baby and feed the baby, they come through this door and this is the station right here, wash their hands and lockers available if they have things that they need to store in those lockers. So they come in the main entrance, walk, wash their hands, got lockers, and then just right back down that hallway to get to their baby. And then we head back out to the main entry uh, to the labor and delivery unit. And hope you've enjoyed this brief uh, construction tour. Uh, and this will be the last as well, as all the hard hats come off soon and mm -hmm. inspections are in the works this week. And we'll look forward to seeing y'all beginning September the 12th. <laughs>